Hello and welcome to Glitchy Tools. Today I'll be taking you through how to make this scale sheet. We have our clips here, but we're just going to sample a few. So let's take this first two. We're going to add our null objects. Then we'll edit the scale. Add a keyframe at 100 and move it all the way to the back. Then add another keyframe at 300. Edit the graph like so. Then to the next clip, go and set the scale at 90. Then go to the other keyframe and choose between 125 to 130. So we're just going to go with 130 here. Then add a motion tile to your clip. Don't forget to mirror the edges. Also enable the motion blur to the clips. Just adjust the graph until you find it looking how you love it. It's looking really well now. Now let's add an adjustment layer so that we can add the effect as dissolve shake. Damn, I even forgot how to type. Anyway, now that we have the effect added, let's make the settings as follows. We're going to increase the dissolve speed to something around 300. So let's just go with 333. And the dissolve percentage, let's set it as 30. Amplitude, let's just start with a zero. I want to change this small blood length a bit and maybe at 0.4. Just change that frequency to 25. Okay, now let's adjust the shake settings. Set the X as 120 and the Y shake as 120. Now it's time to come and animate this amplitude. Let the zero keyframe to be about three quarters of the clip and the first keyframe set it at the beginning and this value will be five. Then set the graph like so. Take this adjustment layer and split it uh, one frame. Then change the dissolve percentage of this first frame to five and to reduce the blur. And also add some tilt shape just to increase the effect of the shape. It's not so noticeable, but the shape is definitely there. Let's just copy and paste what we did on this side to the other side. If you notice that the blur is a bit too much, you can just disable the blurs in the transitions. After all, edge shakes are usually quite harsh. To add to the impact of an edge shake, you can also add a turbulent displays. To learn how to add these turbulent displays, just look at this video here. That being said, don't forget to like and subscribe if you have enjoyed the Discord server. The link will be in the description down below. That being said, I will see you guys in the next video.